Hey everybody, we're here for the unboxing and installation of a Sinister Diesel coolant filtration system for a 2003 to 2007 6 liter power strip truck. Included in the Sinister Diesel kit is the Wix coolant filter number 24070 that is replaceable. The coolant filtration block the necessary hardware, screw clamps, and ball valves. Sinister Diesel's silicone hoses with the fittings pre-installed. A Sinister Diesel sticker, the coolant filtration block mounting bracket, and instructions. Always look for the authentic Sinister Diesel logo to make sure you are installing genuine parts. Going to start off this installation by assembling the coolant filtration block. These ball valves come with thread sealant already on the ball valve itself and will not need any sealant tape. Going to install ball valves on the top and the right side of the coolant filtration block. Next we can install the mounting bracket onto the coolant filtration block. I'm going to use bolts and lock washers. Now we can install the silicone hoses. The large blue T fitting line B will go on the top of the coolant filtration block and line A with the smaller brass fitting will go onto the right side of the coolant filtration block. Standing in front of the vehicle, the coolant filter will be mounted on the left side of the radiator or the passenger side. Remove the nut stud with a 10 millimeter deep socket. The positive battery cable retainer may need to be removed to gain access. Insert the stud through the face of the coolant filter bracket and bolt the unit on. Make sure to insert the tab on the bottom of the mounting bracket into the core support cutout. Before installing the filter onto the coolant filter block, make sure to wet the coolant filter o-ring with the coolant that you will be putting into the vehicle to ensure that you get a tight seal. If this is not done, the coolant filter will have a high risk of leaking. Route the hose from the right hand side of the filter system across the radiator shroud to the upper radiator bleed line, splice the brass T into the line and secure with the provided screw clamps. The passenger side CAC tubing can be removed for easier access to the passenger side coolant lines. Splice the T fitting into the heater core line and secure with the provided large hose clamps. If your engine is equipped with automatic climate control, you will need to splice your T-fitting into the engine side of the heater core line. Once the T-fitting is secure, you may replace the passenger side CAC tubing and fill the cooling system for Ford factory specifications and start the truck. After letting the truck run for a few minutes, shut the engine off and inspect for any leaks. 
thank you very much for watching. We hope to see you on the next Sinister Diesel installation video. For more information on performance products, please contact Sinister Diesel on the web or toll free.